I'm Connor Hollingsworth in Virginia Beach. Doctors say that literally millions of germs can be found on playgrounds just like this one across our area. Medical experts say the best way of protecting your kids from the disease these germs carry is by getting vaccinated. But some parents we talked to at Mount Trashmore on Wednesday had differing opinions. It's something I'm, I haven't done and I'm not going to do. I, I believe that um, a lot of the COVID deaths could have been prevented with immunization. This week marks National Infant Immunization Week, highlighting the importance of young people getting protected from vaccine preventable diseases. But according to a study by the National Conference of State Legislatures, child vaccination rates are currently lower than pre-pandemic levels. Looking at the, the data statistics about the just different uh, issues that people have been having after getting the vaccines is not really something I would want to put my children through. I don't want to take that risk. If they're hesitant, I have to find out why, and then we have to talk about it from there. But Dr. John Harrington with the Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters thinks this dip in vaccinations has less to do with people's feelings on it and more to do with a shortage of staff at hospitals. It may have felt like we were vaccinating less, but it was really because probably we didn't have enough staffing in order to vaccinate as many kids as we were. Harrington says because of vaccines, deaths from diseases that used to be prevalent, like tetanus and diphtheria, have faded away. But if more parents start thinking vaccines aren't necessary, and the further the vaccine level drops, the more likely these diseases will make a comeback. When those areas um, in certain pockets of areas get below that level, they are likely to have outbreaks and stuff. And that's what we've seen in, in several areas of the country. Now, according to the World Health Organization, cases of measles, a disease that was quite rare before the pandemic, rose by 79% in 2023 alone. In Virginia Beach, Connor Hollingsworth, News 3.